Okay, Math 100 students, this is part two. You know, I like to try to break it up and not try to give you 25 whole minutes of continuous me, which of course I'm sure you enjoy, but I like to try to break it up. Okay, so part two, we on number 46. We're still on page 327, 328, 30 through 68 even. Okay, so I want you to think of two numbers that when I multiply them together, it gives me negative 24. And when I add them together, it gives me five. So the outside is the multiplication part. The inside is the adding. So I'm thinking of my timetables here. I'm like, okay, I'm thinking of six times four. I'm thinking of eight times, eight times three. Well, eight times three give me what I need. Y'all, let me think. I'm thinking eight times three. But if I make, if this needs to be negative, I'm going to try this one. Okay, y'all need y'all to plug into your calculator and see if they, does that give me what I need? No, because when I do negative eight times three, I get negative, but negative 24. But when I do negative eight plus three, I get negative five. So that means I got my, I have my signs wrong. Okay, so let me try the negative here. Okay, and I just want to show you different ways when you try it, if it doesn't work, what you need to try. So now, Eight times a negative three, my calculator will give me negative 24. This time, if I plug in, if I do eight plus negative three in my calculator, it's going to give me a five, positive five. And that's what I want. Okay. So this will be put X and X. And you told me it will be positive eight and negative three. And if you do the backwards, if you go, well, the rainbow, X times X, X times negative three, that's negative three X. 8 times uh, eight times x and 8 times negative 3, it will give you this answer. And that's how you check your answer. Do that, the backwards rainbow that I've taught you in assignment number um, 5. Okay, next, I'm going to put b here and b here. So b squared plus 6x minus 7. So I need two numbers that when I multiply them together, I get negative 7. When I add them together, I get positive six. So I'm thinking of my two time tables. I'm thinking about um, seven times one, but I need one of them to be negative. Um, so usually if I have a positive in the middle, I make the smaller number negative. So let me see if that will work for me. Okay, so seven times one, um, negative one, so positive times a negative is a negative, and that's what I needed. Okay, so they gave me the right negative I needed, and seven plus a negative one is six. Okay, so I needed positive seven and negative one to make this work. Okay, flipping over. Number 50, we are doing the same thing. So I need two numbers that when I multiply them together, I get negative 20. And when I add them together, I get positive eight. So I'm thinking of my timetables. I'm thinking about um, four times five, but I'm like, how can they give me an eight? Let me try two other timetables. Let me try five times, y'all, what would that be? Five times four, no. What about 10 times two? 10 times two. How could I make 10 times 2 work for me? Okay, so let me see. 10 times 2. I just need to get my the negative correct. So I'm put the negative near the smaller number. If this number, if the leading number, the number in the middle is positive. So if you put plug in 10 times negative 2 in your calculator, you should get negative 20. And 10 plus a negative 2 in your calculator it should give you positive 8. So this is positive 10 and negative two. Okay, let's try more. A here and A here. Two numbers that when I multiply them together, I get negative 36. When I add those same two numbers together, I'm looking for a nine, exact same timetables. So I'm thinking about um, four times nine, that won't give me a nine though. Uh, what about 12 times three? Let's think about 12 times three. And let's go negative here. 
and see if that will work. Just trial and error. So if I plug in a positive times a negative is a negative, 12 times three is 36. If I do 12 plus a negative three in my calculator, it's gonna give me a positive nine. So that'll be positive 12 and negative three. Okay, next. T and T. Two numbers that I need to multiply together to give me a negative 50, and two numbers that I can add together to get a negative five. Okay, so we're going to the next section. I'm just giving you just step by step. Okay, so I, I know I'm thinking about 10 times five automatically, definitely. But this time, if you have the negative in the middle, you're gonna put your negative sign near the bigger number. And I'll show you why. Okay, so if you multiply, of course, a negative times a positive is a negative. Okay, so 10 times 5 is 50. But if you put negative 10 plus 5 in your calculus, it's going to give you a negative 5. Now, you could do trial and error. Just say you didn't know and you put the negative here. If you'd have plugged that in, 10 plus a negative 5, we would have kicked out a positive 5. And that's how you would have known your, your signs were not right. Okay, so this is negative 10 and positive 5. Next set, A and A. Two numbers, and when I multiply them together, I get negative five. And when I add them together, I get negative four. So I'm thinking of, um, I'm thinking about five times one because I'm thinking about numbers at the very end. You're thinking about your timetables at the end. Okay, so I know I'm, I'm, I want to use five times one. I know that. Okay, so when I use that five times one, all right, that is going to be, let me put the negative in front of the larger number. So negative five times one, that gives me negative five and negative five plus one gives me negative four in your calculator. So make sure if you're not familiar with your integers, just put it in your calculator just to, just to help you, guide you to make sure you have the right um, symbol, the right sign. Two numbers that when I multiply them together, I get negative 35. When I add these two numbers together, I get negative two. So I'm thinking about my timetable. So I'm thinking about, okay, well, seven times five, that would give me negative 35. Just need to get my signs right. Put the negative in front of the larger number, especially when you have a negative in the middle. Okay, so negative seven times five is negative 35. Negative seven plus five in your calculator will give you a negative Two, so that's negative seven and positive five. Okay, next for 60, x squared minus six x minus 16. So let me put my x here, my x here. Two numbers that when I multiply them together, I get negative 16 and when I add those two numbers together, I get negative six. So I was thinking about, you know, four times four automatically came to my mind, but I'm like, well, there's no way I can get a six out of that. So let me think of two more timetables, all right? Eight times two, that will work. I just need to get my signs read, all right, and ready, all right? So negative eight times two, that gives me negative 16. Negative eight plus two in your calculator will give you a negative six. So this is negative eight and positive two. Okay, four more, and I will not be getting on your nerves anymore. <laughs> all right? M squared minus MN minus 12N squared. So let me put the M here and the M here. I still need two numbers that when I multiply them together, I get negative 12. I still need that, except the only difference is if you have two N's on the, at the back end, I just need one here and one here. That's the only difference. Okay. And I still need two numbers that when I add them together, it gives me what? A negative one. Because we talked about this already. There's always a one. If they don't give you a number at all, it's always a one. So if you're thinking about two numbers, I'm thinking about four times three, that will give me 12. And I could possibly get a one out of that too. Okay. So let me put the negative in front of the larger number and see if that works. Negative four times three is negative 12. And if you plug in negative four plus three in your calculator, it will give you a negative one. So put in minus four and plus three. And that's it. I think y'all can handle that. Okay, let's do another one. A here and A here, only because here 
we didn't have a variable. But notice here, I have an extra one. I have n to the second power. That's why you put it in each one of the parentheses. So here, I have b. So I'm going to put b here and 1 here. But I'm still looking at my numbers. I'm still looking at the coefficients. I'm still looking at two numbers that I need to multiply to get negative 18. Those same two numbers in the same order to give me a positive 7. So I'm thinking about my timetables. I'm thinking about um, 2 times... Nine, I'm thinking about two times nine, y'all, or nine times two. Um, but this time I need the um negatives. So, how would that work, guys? Let me think about that on 64. On 64, all right. So, let me think. Um, let me think. Do I have the right letters? Do I mean, do I have the right variables? Where should my sign go? Hmm. Well, it's positive. So I'm going to do trial and error. Okay. 9 times negative 2 is negative 18. 9 plus negative 2 is 7. Okay. So put a 9 here and put a negative 2 here. Okay. Next set. U here and a U here. V here and a V over here, just separating them. I still need two numbers that when I multiply them together, I get negative 15. And when I add them together, I get two. I get two. So I'm thinking on my timetables, um, three times five, that would give me, that would give me 15. So what, where would my sign need to go in order to make that work? It needs to go near this one because that way, Negative 3 times 5, that'll give me negative 15. And negative 3 plus 5 will give me positive 2 because the 5 is bigger, okay, in your calculator. So put negative 3 and plus 5. And if you had put the plus 5 here, that's fine. And a negative 3 behind it, that's fine as well. I know exactly what you're trying to tell me. Last one. Oh, almost last one. I need to turn the page. No, what's this the last one, guys? Yes, because I didn't want to do negatives because I think this is uh, definitely a lot of um, information already. Um, so here, uh, let me put the Y here and the Y here. So I need two numbers that when I multiply them together, I'm sorry, multiply them together, I get nine. And when I add them together, I get six. So the only numbers I can think about, of course, is three. Because uh, three times three would give me nine and three plus three would give me six. So this one was actually fairly easy. Okay. That one was fairly easy. And sometimes in the book, when you have the exact same, they will write it like this in the uh, in the book as an answer. But if you had left it like this, that's perfect. But I just wanted you to see that if you had written it like this, that would be fine too. If you saw it as an answer choice, I would hope that you would choose it, either one. So I thank you and I appreciate you for listening. And I hope this helped. And I will be on the Zoom um, on tomorrow for anyone that needs help. So have a good night.